him. What's up guys, I am Kwis and here today I'll be bringing you a Lydia Sobieska guide, the newest character to be added to the Tekken 7 roster. And if you don't know me, I'm a multiple time ICFC champion, I'm the current Red Bull Gaming Sphere online champion, uh, and I've just competed in a lot of tournaments and won quite a few using this character here, Lydia, so hopefully I know my stuff. And before we begin, be sure to subscribe to Dash Fight for more character guides and check out their website for all things FGC. And now here are some moves you want to keep in mind when playing Lydia Sobieska. For approach tools, I really want to focus on forward forward four, forward forward two, and a running one. Running one leading to guaranteed follow-ups, forward forward two leading in a cat foot stance one mix-up. I'll go more into the stances later. And forward forward four just being a nice poke that's very plus on hit. And not too minus on block as well, only minus three. You do want to be particularly careful with running one and forward forward two though. With running one being high, it can be ducked and launched in forward forward two. If you get too predictable, it's quite easy to step and you can really be punished heavily for it. A down forward two, which is a long range I-15 poke that leads into cat foot stance two. And there's also a 15 frame punish for things with huge pushback like pulls, death fist and so on. A three two, which is a long range whiff punish that can lead into big damage. And if you time the two correctly, you get the blue sparks just frame. Down back two, which is a high crushing low poke similar to Dragonov's infamous down two. A forward one plus two string, which is a 14 frame punish, but can also be used as a, an approach tool because it's a very easy hit confirm. The moment one of the hit hits, it is all natural and it's only minus 10 if you do not finish the final thing. So it can be used as a very easy and annoying approach tool to get in. A down one, which is a plus on block mid poke that can be used to go into more pressure down forward four which is a mid poke with extensions that can be used to track to lydia's weak side down back three two which is a hell sweep that leads into favorable oki for lydia and back three a homing high that is only minus three on block now with lydia there are four stances to really get your head around to really start playing the character at a higher level she has cat stance one which goes into heaven and earth and Cat Stance 2, which goes into Pouncing Tiger's Stalking Wolf. So first, let's go through her Cat Foot Stance 2 and its follow-ups. The easiest ways to get into her Cat Foot Stance 2 is off her 1-2-2, two, two, which is her 10-frame punish, and her Down Forward 2, which is the 15-frame punish I showed earlier. Now, when in Cat Foot Stance 2, your opponents can actually mash to get out of a lot of situations if you're not playing uh, perfectly. One way to shut down mashing completely is with her Cat Foot Stance 3. Uh, this option, if your opponent tries to push a bar and will completely counter it, launch them off 1, 2, 2 and down forward 2. However, if they do mash a dick jab, that will actually beat it. And your option to beat that is 1 plus 2. And she also has a sweep from this stance, cat foot 4, which leads into a guaranteed forward forward 3. And if they get up wrong, a full launch. And then from cat foot 2, if you press forward, you go into pouncing tiger, where your main options here are pouncing tiger 4 which is a low that's only minus 12 on block. And then Pouncing Tiger 1, which is a mid that's a bit slower, but does big damage. And then Catfoot Stance 1, the most common way to get into the stance is off a of 4 4 2. When you do it on here, it goes straight into the stance. And the best way to get into a Catfoot 1 is off 4 4 2. The moment the move lands, you go straight into the stance. And the best way to stop mash mashes in this stance is with a Catfoot 2, which is a mid poke. There's a counter hit launcher that leads into a big damage. And then she also has another powerful mid from the stance, which is a cat foot four. You see there, plus eight on block is a counter hit launcher. And if you sparingly can really put your opponent in a bad situation. And she has two other options, cat foot one and cat foot three. Cat foot three being minus one on block, but is also a normal hit launcher. And then if you hold forward in a cat foot stance, you then go into heaven and earth stance, where she has access to her guard break. Once you, once you block this, she gets a guaranteed forward one plus two. When the back's to the wall, you do forward 2 4 to get a wall splat for a full combo. She also has a safe mid launcher in Heaven Enough 1 and a good low poke with Heaven Enough 2, which also high crushes and is a counter hit launcher. And one tiny note about Lydia's cat foot stance I mentioned earlier, she has two options to shut down dick jabbers um, in both stances. In cat foot 2, it's 1 plus 2, and in cat foot 1, it's 2. 
both of those options are minus 10 so you will get punished for it if you continue to throw it out over and over again but sometimes i feel like the reward is greater than the risk and now let's get into her combos one of her main whiff punishes and combo styles will be a hop kick her up forward four which leads into cat stance and a very simple combo for it goes something like this If you want to go for wall carry instead, you can then put two jabs in and then end with that instead. Off of her 3-2 is when you're going to get most of her damaging combos. With excellent wall carry as well. But that combo I showed there doesn't work on all characters. Uh, smaller characters, mostly the females on the cast, who have to switch your combo instead and do something like this instead. Which is still not bad damage. I also recommend for going for delay hop kick with Lydia up forward neutral four uh, because the damage you get is way more than her while standing two. And in situations where Lydia starts off with a tailspin already before the combo begins, the most common one being after her rage drive, this is the max damage combo you want to go for. And that applies to all combos that begin with a tailspin. If you want to sacrifice some damage and go for wall carry instead, I recommend something like this. If you don't mind sacrificing some damage. And at the wall, Lydia has some pretty basic combos. That's a pretty basic combo that you want to go for. But if you want to get more damage, the two combos I always recommend doing are off of her back three string and the butterfly combo. And for both of those, as you see, you just want to delay them a little, delay the final hits a little bit just to get the maximum scaling. And a small trick to always get the blue sparks and the butterfly is it's back is back three four but when you hit the four also press it down and then quarter circle forward one plus two and you will get the blue sparks a hundred percent of the time lydia is a character that excels at rushing down her opponents making them guess and putting them into unfavorable situations with her stances and mix-ups and with big damage as well she can really make people pay for minor mistakes with her whiff punishment taking them to the wall leading to big damage and also then okie follow-ups Factor that in with strong counter hit tools and literally perfect punishment for every single frame, both standing and while standing. Lydia is a character that, if played perfectly, is a very difficult character to overcome. And on the flip side with Lydia, she's also a character that can struggle to lock people down if you start to autopilot. She does suffer from linearity and she can really be paid for it in multiple situations. So it just requires you remembering your options to lock people down instead of just autopiloting and throwing the same things out over and over again. You can also check out all things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. If you like this video, please leave a like or comment below with your thoughts. Thank you for watching.